Hi guys, Frosty here. Welcome back to another episode of Nice Dragon. So, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's going to be another one of these ranting episodes, just like I did last Monday, and that one got a lot of support. So, thank you guys so much on the, on the for that support, of course, but uh, there also were some dislikes, but compared to the likes, of course, like 35 likes and 4 dislikes, there's, uh, there's a 1 to 7 like-dislike ratio right there, so it's kind of nothing. So what I want to talk about today is the Alliance is going on a gem strike. Now I don't know if this is going to be in iOS as well, because I have seen some screenshots that the iOS uh, Alliance actually said like, hey, we don't participate in such uh, bullshittery, I guess, because <laughs> it, it won't work anyway. We have done this before and it didn't work. And that, that I, yeah, it, it, I really just think that is completely true. So let, let me give you guys a breakdown. So as of lately, there have been a lots of Italians going on the top boards um, that really don't have to be there. Like, they, they are speed hacking, according to my knowledge, of course, uh, as far as I know, they are doing that. And there, there have been some people that have actually been defending them, but you can't make 1 billion with 6k attack. I mean, the number one was clearly speed hacking. The number two maybe wasn't, but the number one, you can't... Unless you have double the gem, or double, I think maybe triple, maybe quadruple the gems that the other guys have, so and they, they already have like uh, maybe thousands of gems ready, so you need to have ten thousands of gems ready, and you can make that uh, with like a, with a regular, um, unless your bank account is really stacking, but even then, with 6k stats, how can you make 1 billion? Seriously, even, you, you, you need to teach me the ways if you can't do that, because and he wasn't even three times effective, but there's a little aftermath uh, going on right here with this type of shit. Because what actually happened was, as I stated, like with those Italians hacking, people have been causing uh, mayhem in the entire. I, I like every time I go on, on um, the, the chat up called Line, there's always somebody that says like, or oh, in on the timeline, you know, over there it says like on, on social media I read when it, it comes to Knights of Dragons, they, they always it always says something like I'm going on a gem strike or something to do with the Italians. Like guys, it's last rate already, you know. May, you we should focus on the future, not in the past anymore. But I know that you guys want to have these Italians banned, but we will see if Gree actually does that. Because I know that Gree will certainly ban hackers, but if Gree doesn't ban those guys, then maybe they are not hackers after all, but we will have to see that in the end. But because, like I said, Gree is one of the few companies that actually doesn't tolerate hackers at all. Like Clash of Clans, that they don't do that, they, they don't want that either, you know, Supercell, but they kind of really don't pay attention to it because their game is like millions of people play it each damn day, so they, they really have to spice it up every damn day as well. But with a game like this, it's kind of smaller, so you can clearly see when somebody is hacking or not. And like I said, with almost 7k and uh, but still 6k stats and doing 1 billion, well, you you have to teach me the ways if you do that like that. So now what what I what I also said like I'm going to talk or rant a little bit about the aftermath that this has caused. So you guys might have seen this pop up in your timeline as well. Uh, for uh, the, the, the chat app you use yeah, for Knights of Dragons, of course, and that says like we're going on a gem strike, so that means that nobody is allowed to buy or allowed. No, nobody is going to buy gems just so Gree can, uh, j just so we have finally have the attention of Gree themselves. You know, for for them like not uh, listening to us when it uh, when it comes to doing that, when it comes to banning the Italians, and then I'm like. I know why you guys do want this, because you want them banned as soon as possible, but Gree is onto this stuff, they, are, they always are. But going on a gem strike, nobody will really like follow those rules, because it, it's. I think it's already been going on, and I think that they don't want to um, spend any gems for the next week, for the upcoming Y and for the upcoming raid, they have already, or most of the alliances have already um, n not scheduled their runs, so I believe, I, I believe they already scrapped their runs. As far as I know, <laughs> but that's what I heard. Maybe already the plans have already been changed. Who knows? Because I don't actually. If if you uh, have any uh, updates on that, you know, if you if you hear that the runs are scrapped as well for your alliance, uh, let me know. But with such, uh, there's many people actually not going to buy gems for the upcoming weekend. But even though pretty much everybody agreed to this, and I I don't know if like like literally. Every alliance agreed to this, but 
that's just the leadership, you know, agreeing with that. That doesn't mean that Gree isn't like, or that Gree, that the, that the guilds within the alliances aren't going to spend gems, because you always have a couple guys that say like, you know, screw this, we're just having, we just want to have fun, let me just buy the gems whenever I want. And that's completely true, because the alliance doesn't run your guild, you know, you can't tell me when I am going to buy gems or not, no, that's on me. But, by the way, there have been some issues with starter packs, you can actually get banned for buying a starter pack, that's a little glitch in the game, so if you, uh, are buying one of the starter packs, don't do it, please. Because <laughs> it, it just won't hurt you, that's about all it does. But like I said, it's just really, really weird that people, like, actually say, why not go on a gem strike? Honestly, if if you do that, then Gree will see their uh, revenue, so what, what does that mean? Their profits from this game going downhill even faster, because they have already been seeing that for the last couple months. That's why they got this new team up. With all the, that always puts those uh, apologies up in the in the banners, and the old team didn't do that, so I, I'm liking this better. But this new team is also a last resort, because when a, when a game does things like this, when they uh, or when the developers of a game hire an entire new team to just make this uh, try to make this game work again then it really is a last resort and if we are planning a gem strike then you know then maybe they think that they aren't doing it correctly at all partly they are still doing this wrong honestly i do agree with that because i know that um the hackers should have been banned already but maybe like i said they are not hackers maybe not and for those of you guys who say like are you focusing on the entire italian branch or something no i'm just focusing on the tree that are in top five uh, as of uh, last rate. I'm not focusing on the, the entire Italian branch or whatever, you know, the others don't have anything to do with this because they don't want to spend uh, or speed hack. They, they, they didn't really sign up for that. They just want to sign up for a run, not when somebody decides to hack, you know, and uh, that's rather unfortunate because other people are getting, or yeah, some other people are actually getting blamed for the, the, their guild members speed hacking, you know, but who says that they have, like, their friends, that they have them in hand, you know, who says that? Like, it, it's kind of, it, it's coming from both ways, of course, so I get it, but I don't get it either that you guys are going on a gem strike. Now, I've already said to Ma, aka Russia's good, like, you shouldn't buy gems for the next couple of weeks, and she actually said, like, hey, I'm not doing that, because I'm, I'm just going to take a look at or whatever, whatever is happening, and... That's indeed going to be uh, the case, but there, there's always some numbnuts that say like uh, when when there's a strike, like let's let's just do it, let's just not do it, you know? Like it's just you you as an alliance leader can't tell your entire alliance stop uh, buying gems. You can tell maybe up to thirty percent will do it, but the other seventy percent is like, <laughs> who's this guy or go coming to me and saying like, I don't want the gem strike, you know? I mean, or we we want a gem strike. What what that you just need to look at from my perspective instead of your own. You know, maybe you think a gem stock is a good idea, but in any sort of way, they are they are going to make money anyway because iOS is paying attention to whatever is happening in Android. Same goes the other way around, and also goes for the EU and global. So it it kind it's kind of you know you need to work through all all of the like all of the fucking servers out there and that that is what android isn't doing and it, it's trying to do that but the other alliance alliances the other like servers aren't really listening because they don't really care about it honestly of course i can clearly see that because they are not having any trouble with hackers but i have seen there that the android eu also has trouble with italian hackers <laughs> i've gotten some screenshots of them like getting going hard in two minutes again but I'm not going to talk about the EU server, you know, it's it's just, like, that. that's an entirely different thing for me right now. You know, if you if you want to go on the gem strike, be my guest, but personally, I'm not telling my members to stop jamming, because I just want to play the game the way I want it to, together with my family, you know, that that's all I give a shit about. I, I like, if this game is going downhill, then so be it, but I'm, I just want to have fun with the game I play, of course. I don't want to do anything else than just have fun with my family, my friends, and the rest of it. And 
I'm not going to be uh, getting cock blocked by some leader that just says like we're going on a jam strike. I personally really don't care because I'm a free to play player. <laughs> that you like that's why I don't care about this jam strike because I don't spend money on this game anyway. Like Clash Royale, I do spend money on that, but that's actually a quite a good game. This game is getting rebuilt from scratch. Let's just say it like that. But it's just you guys always like come up with the uh, with what you think is the best idea and a gem strike personally isn't a good idea at all because you guys will just get mad at, mad at each other when some people are actually jamming like seriously the, I think the gem strike has already begun and you can clearly see that in the blitz because this is quite an unexpensive blitz but 12 million is impossible without buying gems like seriously though 12 million how much energy is that <laughs> somebody has to do the math for me on that but you know, just so you guys know my opinion about this, you can do whatever you want with your gems, buy or not, you know, but my honest opinion is just have fun with yourself. And I mean not like fingering yourself or tickling your dick up. I, like seriously, just have fun with your friends, have fun with your girlmates, have fun with your family, have fun with your branch, have fun with your alliance, don't have fun the way other people want it to. Have fun the way you want it to. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but have fun the way you want it yourself. That, that's all That's all I ask you guys, just have fun the way you play this game. If you are paid to play, it doesn't matter. If you are free to play, it doesn't matter. Just play the game, and if you're getting tired of it, then leave your alliance and go indie, you know? Delete line and go indie. Just just find a girl that just loves you for the way you are, you know? Go old school. And that's right, there's no alliances, no people who are nagging on your head and saying like hey when are you going to be active again no just play at your own pace and I'm not like saying that alliances are bad with this that, that my own personal opinion is that every alliance has its flaws but they are also good in some ways or another and everybody will pr pretty much think that you know no alliance is perfect you live and you learn it as Hannah Montana <laughs> once said but just so you guys know my opinion about this you guys, you guys can let me know your opinion about this as well you know that, like I re I've already asked, well, I've already asked you guys once, like why are you still playing this game? And some people have actually said, like, I play this game because my friends are still doing it. I'm still doing that as well, and also because I have a channel on it. You know, if if it wasn't for me, I would have been gone a long time ago. You know, I, I would have been focusing on other things such as school. You know, and I, I wouldn't actually be in the class that I'm currently in, but in another entire different direction. <laughs> but. We're here where we are now, and I'm glad actually, because I really want to grow bigger with this channel. But that's for another story. So guys, like I said, let me know your com or let me know your opinion about the gem. Let me know your opinion about the gem strike in the comments down below. Of course, I hope to see you all again next time.